Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greedley News. Thank you for joining me. Current live image of uh, Old Faithful, their webcam there. Um, I wanted to show you Old Faithful because it looks like the rocks to the left of Old Faithful where the water comes out has grown slightly. So I'm hoping that they'll zoom back in a little bit and I can show you. The most recent earthquake at Yellowstone was a 1.4. And that was today at 2.10 Universal Time. reason I bring that up is because there's another earthquake uh, that they are not reporting. At 5.36 Universal Time, here's the earthquake and there's its signature. Um, this is the P wave and then we got the S wave and we got harmonic tremors. Now they have another one here which is at 719, a very small earthquake right there. They're not reporting that one, but they are reporting this one. And this one is actually much smaller than the one that they had at 510. Um, 211, which is this one right here, uh, the 1.4, which is four kilometers in depth, which is about two and a half miles below sea level. So that would be about a half a mile above the upper magma chamber there at Yellowstone. And you'll notice here we got one at 541, Stanley, Idaho, um, 1132, Stanley, Idaho, and 1348. Those are all the earthquakes they are reporting today. Or actually the most recent ones. I mean, there's lots of them at Stanley, Idaho. Um, now the 1.5 was yesterday, but anyways, the point being this earthquake, which is much long, larger than the, um, 1.4, they're not reporting. And how do I know it's larger? Because it shows up on all the monitors. Now this monitor here is for Norris Junction and it's marked in red. The geologists were notified by the computerized system that this earthquake occurred. Um, this one is not in red. But then we got some more recent stuff, you know, hot gases. And this is what the uh, file was showing when I pulled the records um, a little bit after 11 o'clock central daylight time. Prior to these earthquakes, yeah, there was um, a lot of magma intrusion coming in. It looks like it came up from the uh, Yellowstone Lake area moved across under the lake and then up to the Norris Junction uh, part where they, you know, they've been having the swarms. Now this little earthquake was recorded from Heaven Lake. Being Norris Junction, it would show up here. And there's its signature. And let me pull this over for you. That would have been a 0 0.5. 8.7 kilometers in depth. Supposedly this is outside of the uh, magma chamber. Let me zoom in for you. There we go. So this area, all right, where is it? Right there. This area can actually take larger earthquakes. The ground's not as brittle as what it is here um, in the area where the caldera is at. Because of uplift and the frequent earthquakes, um, yeah, the ground's very brittle, fractured, lots of cracks. So this 0 0.5 they did report and this one right here, um, they did report, but this other one, like I said, which is much larger, they did not, um, did not report. Yeah, uh, 536, the first initial P wave came in. And then this one here, 719, they did not report. And then here is what they call scientifically blobs of magma that came in. Um, from looking at the different monitors, it looks like this time the magma came in from the um, Gulf of California, came up to the Yellowstone Lake area, moved across west towards the uh, um, Madison River and Mammoth Hot Springs area. And I know that by looking at the signatures of three different monitors. This here is Norris Junction again. As you know, there's two different directions that the magma comes in from. One being the Snake River Plateau, which is through here. 
up here we got um, all the earthquakes that have been occurring along the Sawtooth Mountain Range. Uh, let's zoom into that area a little bit. There we go. And then down here is the Snake River Plateau. Let me bring it back out a little bit if I can. There you go. Snake River Plateau and um, the eruption, the large eruptions and dike intrusions occurred through here. And then the other plume comes up from, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, kind of down here. It comes up from the Gulf of California, um, comes up to the one resurgent dome, travels under the lake, and then up to the Madison River um, area. All right, so here we have the earthquake at 536 that they're not reporting, and this is Lake Butte, which is on the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. I've covered this, and I've showed you this area. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Kind of up over here, right in this area. See that little lake there? This road here in the mountain, they got it labeled as Lake Butte. And this is Lake Turbid. Anyways, I use that for um, a way to, you know, find the area for the monitor for Lake Butte. And we see that the hot gases, and we got a line of melt here. We got another earthquake that's not being reported at 1456. There's a signature. Yeah, that's a definite screw wave. See that? Yeah, harmonic tremors. Yeah, that is marked in red and not being reported at 1456. The last earthquake they have reported is at 1348. And this one too is marked in red. And then we got the blobs of magma harmonic tremors. Like I said, by the way the waves came in, I can tell that the magma came in from the south and traveled up. And look at this. This is before, so we got another one in red. Um, this was all occurring prior to the um, 1.4, I believe it is, at um, Heben Lake, Hedgen Lake. Yeah, a lot of activity was going on prior to this. Yeah, and that one is not being reported in red. We got lots, lots of activity going on. And this also showed at the monitor at Yellowstone Lake. All this magma coming in. It did not show up at Norris Junction, this flow of magma. So if it had come in from the Snake River Plateau, it would have showed this signature first, whereas um, Lake Butte and Yellowstone Lake did. Yeah, lots of activity. Look at that. See that? Harmonic tremors. As you know, Yellowstone Lake has two resurgent domes. One that is just above Yellowstone Lake to the north, which is the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome. And the one that is on the camera, the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. Let's see, where's this one at? Yeah, okay, so we got 748. That one, too, not being reported. And see how it dips down towards the bottom, which means the earthquake came from the south. And we'll look at the signature. It's a real nice signature. Look at the magma that came in. See that? Yeah. And then, yeah, the line of melt. Look at that. You want to see the signature? Yeah, small earthquakes. And we got another one there. And we'll pull it down. There's the one I just showed you. And then another one that they are not reporting. Here we have the monitor for Yellowstone Lake. This monitor is up in this location of the lake to the north. Again, Lake Butte is over here. So when the magma comes in from the Gulf of California, it comes up somewhere over here, goes across. Up over here, we have the monitor for uh, the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome. Actually, they don't have a monitor there, but that's the location of the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome. And again, this is the activity that we're showing at these two monitors, but not at Norris Junction. That's how I know the magma came in, because I got two different sites. It shows 
where the magma was coming in. See that? Lots of activity was going on. Yeah, harmonic tremors. See that? And then we'll come down. So this is the earthquake that they're not reporting. And just notice the, how strong the signature is. And we'll look at the spectrogram. And the one at 210 that they did report. Let me pull this up. Clear this out for you. Let's see. Right there. Right there. See the difference in signature? Yeah, this one they didn't report. But this one they did. Anyway, so here at Yellowstone Lake, we got another one marked in red. Not being reported. At, oh, 1547. Right there. I'll pull it across. Yeah, lots of stuff going on at Yellowstone Lake. This here is the west entrance. Look at all the traffic coming in. Here we have the static camera for Old Faithful. These small rocks right here is what I'm talking about. This larger. I don't know if I can make this bigger or not. This is what it looked like in 2017. These are stills taken from uh, a video that they have posted on the National Park Service. Dot gov media and this here is a video that I took um, when I did a video a few days ago there's those rocks I wish I could make it bigger for you here we have the tilt meter from borehole 950 top is north lots of dots means lots of activity see how it's increased and this is for the last seven days remember I talked about how data was missing each dot is um, an earthquake that created either uplift or subsidence. And this is the last 30 days. Yeah, they re yeah, reset the machine. Grant. Now, again, this is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. Look at all the dots. See how high when the ground shook, took a breath up and subsided? last seven days yeah look at all the shaking going on last week and then the last 30 days yeah that's where data was missing there yeah this is grant the tilt meter for yellowstone lake remember i told you it was rising on um, the one side of the lake where it looked like norris junction was dropping down Top is north, bottom is east, last seven days. And they got this set at five micro radians. So the earthquakes would not be as large on here going across the disk. And then the last 30 days. See how it's rising up? And it's changing direction. I talked about that too. Madison River. Top is north, bottom is east, last seven days. All the earthquakes, yeah, that's a lot of earthquakes that they do not report. And then the last 30 days, and I've talked about how they have these set, so we really can't see what's going on. Yeah, uh, micro radians 156.6. Um, see the difference between this one and this one? This is 39.2. And... 159.4 and 39.3 159.8 let's go back down to here 156.6 well maybe Norris Junction is starting to rise up again this is the last seven days and we'll go look at the last 30 days yeah, it's starting to rise up again isn't it since my last report yeah, see, they got that set at 20 micro radians. Yeah, so you don't really see what's going on. Maybe they're expecting um, earthquakes to occur in this area farther out. That's why they changed it. See, and this one's only 2 micro radians. Yeah, maybe it's rising up again. 
at least it shows it here that it is. And we'll go back to the last 30 days. See what the trend is. There we go. And this was what the file was showing when I when I pulled them. Like I said, at 11 o'clock, you can see it ends right there. This is what it's currently showing. Down here we have Yellowstone Lake. Here we have Lake Butte. And then up here we have Norris Junction. I'll pull this back about four hours. And I'll pull it down for you. And we'll go back another four hours. Yeah, there's that one earthquake they're not reporting. At, um, well here it looks like 718 almost. And I'll pull this over for you. So you can see the names of the, the sites. That's Norris Junction. But notice here Yellowstone Lake. And we'll go back another four hours. Now this is the one that they're not reporting. And this is why I say it's much larger. Um, this is Norris Junction. Here we have Lake Butte. And this one here is Yellowstone Lake. And we'll go back to, let's go back um, one hour because this is the one that they are reporting. This one right here. Let me pull this up for you. Right there. See how it does not show at Lake Butte? And only as a blip for Yellowstone Lake. And I'll go forward one hour if I can get that other one in here. There we go. Okay. This one they did report. This one they did not. And I'll pull it down. Yeah, you can see it's much larger. This one is much larger than this one right here. Anyways, if you want to go to the live webcam and wait for them to zoom in on um, Old Faithful, check out those rocks to um, the left. And they look like they're a little bit larger to me. You can always put down your comment what you think. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.